All right, so I literally just got back home from Petco. Um, the reason why I didn't film, because I don't think the employees like that. Um, filming things like that, I think it kind of bothers them. Plus they already have other customers they gotta take care of. So um, yeah, got back. I got some stuff up that we're gonna uh, throw in the 125 gallon fish tank. Um, I put ones behind me, as you guys can see, it's not doing too super well just because it's been super hot outside and things like that. And I, I, just, I would say about a couple more days and we'll be good to go. So yeah, I was in Petco, we got some fish and uh, yeah, we got a problem with my Fajaka puffer. It's not doing too well and we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you guys everything and yeah, show you guys what we got. All right, since the tank's behind me, we got this. We got one of these plants right here. And they're called like a sword, one of the sword plants. I got from Petco, should fix the water, things like that. Um, as you guys can see, there's the school of neon tetras right there. Oh, I don't know why they're all spread it out. The main concern is it's the Hawka Puffer, man. He's, I don't know what he's doing. He just like sits there and the guy said it's a water quality, things like that. I think my water quality is good. So I don't know, man. We just have to wait and see what happens, but uh, I'm going to keep on showing you what else we got. And we finally right here, dude. Rainbow shark. This is not the one that we added to the pond. This one gets way bigger and that's why I got it. Uh, I think this is a rainbow tail shark. I think the other one was a red tail shark. This is a rainbow tail shark. If I said that right, and we're just gonna uh, let these things acclimate in the tank. And once we're done, we'll show you guys what they look like inside the tank. Cause the tank right now, just look, it just, the tank right now just looks pretty boring. And that right there is supposed to be the Hawk and Puffer's food, which is a clam and mussel, but for some reason he doesn't want to eat it. Here's a better look at it. I like put, putting the bag in there just because it just looks way cooler. You can see it pretty clear. And I don't know what the name's gonna be, but yeah, hopefully he survives and he just grows up to be a gigantic fish in here, man. So I think they get maybe like a foot, so should do pretty well in this tank because the tank's so big. And yeah, right now it looks super active. And yeah, we'll also uh, see how the Fahaka Puffer I react to him once he feels like moving down. Let him swim out into the tank. There we go, dude. I know it's kind of weird right now where you're at, but it's like you're good to go, dude. I don't know, he's kind of like swimming around. There's a Fahaka puff right there. Let's see how he reacts to him. But he should not mess with him, in my opinion. So, ah, he looks, uh, he looks good to go, guys. Looks very healthy. Now he's kind of like panicking just because he's in a new tank. He was like in a 10 gallon tank, but now I thrive in here. So he's moving too quick for me to get him on film, but yeah. Beautiful, dude. Oh, he's right by the Fahaka Puffer. Like the Fahaka Puffer doesn't do anything, see? So I think he should be good and good to go right now. Fahaka Puffer really doesn't care for him right now. Um, so yeah, he's like swimming up, things like that. But yeah, man, I'm so glad I got this fish. There's a Fahaka Puff right there. Doesn't really seem to care for him, which is good, which is very, very good, because we were kind of worried that he was like gonna kind of attack him, because Fahaka Puffs are known to do that stuff, but with this guy, I think we should honestly be good to go. Like, here's the whole tank from back of this aspect there. It's just him swimming around right there with the Tetras and everything. Beautiful guys, this tank, this tank, I know this tank right now seems kind of boring, but at the end of the day, once we get more stuff and more fish, it's gonna look amazing. Try to get a better view of this Fahaka Puffer because for some reason he's not moving and I don't know, if you guys know anything in the comments below, just let me know why he's doing this. I literally have no idea and I, he's been here for like three or four days, maybe just pouting because all the other fish look like they're doing pretty good, but let me know in the comment section why he is doing it. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's exciting episode of Magic Carp Corey. I hope all of you guys enjoy these videos because I really do. Especially if we got a 125 gallon fish tank now, we can do a lot more videos on it with a saltwater fish tank. You know what I'm saying? So we can add so many fish to this tank because it's so big, especially if we get these small tetras and things like that, and they'll just school up and things like that. So. 
yeah, that's going to be it. And I hope all of you guys enjoyed it. I will keep doing updates on Fahaka Puffer. I'm pretty sure he's fine. I just think he's pouting. And yeah, just give it about a week or two, then he should be good to go. So, alrighty, guys, thank you again for watching. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see all of you guys in the next exciting episode. Peace.